I would say six to 10 under probably, depending on weather, um, depending on conditions. Um, I think the rough is going to be really challenging. Um, we've all heard this in the lead up before, especially at U.S. Opens. Oh, the rough is so penalizing. It, you can't hit it in the rough. Um, and then by the end of the week, somebody is significantly more under par than what people felt like um, might have been the winning score, right? So I think you are going to have to drive it straight, but I think it goes back to what I said. There's so many guys that have 175-plus ball speed, right? And a percentage of those guys are going to hit enough fairways <laughs> that that is going to be advantageous for you. It wasn't like it was 10 years ago where we had 30 guys that really hit it far, right? Well, maybe 25 of those guys just had a bad week, right? Um, and maybe when you played, there was 15 guys that hit it really far. And maybe 12 of those guys had a bad week, right? So when you have like close to a hundred guys that have 175 ball speed or higher that are in the field, like if 25% of them don't have a good week, that's still 75 guys that are hitting it far and straight and have a huge advantage. So like if I was looking for a player, one of these guys that hits it far, that's probably in the top 20 in the world is going to hit it straight enough. Um, to have a chance and there'll probably be four or five guys on Sunday that are in that model um, top 20 in the world hit it, hitting it straight for the week and have distance have power associated with their game would be would be my guy um, and maybe throw in some short game in there right I don't I'm sure there's there's somebody that fits that model that hits about 60 percent of the fairways that is a, you know, a power guy and that is maybe in the top 25 in short game.